Indigenous Australians have been targeted by predatory lenders after accessing their superannuation during the pandemic. Documents obtained under freedom of information show extra stimulus payments and early access to super sparked a car buying frenzy with a spike in the price of alcohol in remote communities as well. Matt Cunningham has the second part of this special investigation. In Alice Springs, they call them supercars. Vehicles purchased at inflated prices with money taken early from superannuation accounts under the federal government's approach to tackling the economic impact of COVID last year. Uh, many car yards, particularly second-hand car yards, sold out of vehicles, so we saw high levels of mobility. A Sky News investigation has revealed the devastating impact increased welfare payments and the early access to super have had on remote Indigenous communities. Along with massive increases in alcohol-related harm, documents obtained under Freedom of Information also show cashed-up recipients being preyed upon. Notes the emergence of loan sharks, car sales and mobile plan selling to capitalise on stimulus and superannuation payments. Another reports there is a car buying frenzy taking place. Funds associated with the release of superannuation money is being used to purchase cheap and overpriced cars. Even members of my own family, I was aware that they decided to take out their own super, even when they weren't, when they didn't need it, when they weren't impacted by COVID to the point that they actually needed to withdraw their super, but were withdrawing their super because the opportunity was there to access it and spending it on secondhand cars. Community leaders say the evidence of that car buying frenzy can now be seen on the side of the road. We've seen a lot of cars also around the community burnt out uh, as well, so you wonder if the money is being well spent. The white man's no fool, fool. He knows how to get his money. Put a flash sign up, I've got a good car for you here, yeah? but that car's got to travel from point A to point B, and that road from point A to point B has got corrugation that thick. Two days travel, that car's gone there. Yeah? When Sky News has spoken to people in communities, we've been told a familiar story. They say that there was a huge run on superannuation. In one case, we were told of a man who accessed all of his super. He bought a car in Sydney and had it freighted here to Hermansburg. A day after it arrived, that car broke down. Police say the increased car sales, coupled with extra money in communities, contributed to an increase in grog running. Uh, at some communities, it was upwards of $800 to $900 for a bottle of rum. So you can see that for those interested in a secondary supply market and seizing an opportunity out of misery, that was taken. Meanwhile, what's left of some people's super has been left to rust on the side of the road. That person isn't going to get a refund or fix of any sort. That man's got his money. That's why the white man's not a fool. Ripping them off completely. Matt Cunningham, Scott.